I don't know about you, but my friends are actually just brain dead. I want to talk about two real quick. We'll call him Nathan. Nathan can't go a single second without having an AirPod like this in his ear. He just listens to music all the time. And I don't think I've ever seen him take out his AirPod out of his ear and be present in the moment. I remember being at a party, at like a socialization party, like with crowds of people. And he still had his AirPod in his ear. He was going around, just walking around, just listening to his music, whatever. He couldn't even socialize in a party. And if that doesn't give you red flags, I don't know what will. I also remember going to his house one day and him just scrolling on his phone like TikTok, just doom scrolling for like hours at a time when I was with him at his house. I'm like, dude, like get up and do something. Like you're actually being boring. This guy couldn't go 10 seconds without his phone. I have another friend who's kind of in the same predicament. He never lives in the present moment. Whenever we're with him, whether that be at lunch or just out and about with him, he's on his phone watching Minecraft videos. An 18 year old man watching Minecraft videos when he's with his friends. Obviously there's nothing wrong with watching Minecraft, sure, I get it. But when you're with your friends who are supposed to be entertainment companions and to keep you company, that's just fucked up. He has the attention span of a goldfish. These two dudes are the next generation of men, our engineers, our doctors, our lawyers, and they have the attention span of goldfish and the overstimulation of like a kid with ADHD without Adderall. For the love of God, do not be like them. There's probably been times where you've just been sucked into scrolling and doom scrolling. You're just not thinking at all. So you're part of like the 90% of I probably still scroll on TikTok and Instagram and just have general overstimulation in their life. Watch this video so you can learn right now how you can take back control of your life over your phone and overstimulation in general. This is gonna change your life. You won't be scrolling for hours on end on TikTok, Instagram, Reddit. You're gonna wanna delete those socials. I don't have those socials anymore and I'm proud of it. I don't rely on my rectangle for entertainment or for dopamine or for anything I need. Anything I need, I can get it naturally from my own habits. And this is what I wanna teach you in this video. So how exactly do you take control of your life? Part one, detach. So imagine you and your phone, like you guys are linked together. You rely on it in so many ways, but not in good ways. So what I want to do is to just break it, just break it, and then reform that relationship in a new way, more like a cleaner, more positive, more intentional and purposeful way. So let's start with that. So I, like many other people, just like to keep tabs on other people's lives. Like I said in my previous video, I like to see who's doing what and who's doing who. Like I'm just nosy as fuck, I'm, like I don't even care. But what's the point of checking Instagram every 10 seconds, every 10 minutes and scrolling through posts and liking it? What's the point of doing that on Snapchat, of opening your text every single second, of opening the app every single time you get a notification? Even if you don't even get notifications, just to check who's not on Snap Maps or whatever. Why do you keep on opening Twitter to see the dumb shit people post and softcore porn on it? None of that helps anyone, and it most certainly does not help you. So by detach, I mean stop worrying about who's doing what, who's doing who. Your focus should be on you and you only. So how exactly do you detach and break off from your phone and from other people's lives and from worrying about the shit other people are going to do? From FOMO. One of the biggest ways you can do this and probably the most popular is just do a dopamine detox. Obviously, you've probably heard about it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because it's actually so widespread. You probably already know it. Another way we can actually do this is to go out and adventure. I've spoken about adventuring and going out and being in nature so many times in previous videos. Let me give you a quick recap real quick. By going out and adventuring, you're so focused on what you're doing at hand and so fully present, yet so deep in thought about your own life that you can't help but come back more improved, more thoughtful, more present with more insights about yourself, your goals, and what you're gonna do in life. And if you don't take your phone, you actually realize that you don't need it to get the dopamine and the benefits. You don't need to be scrolling 24 seven to feel absolutely amazing. You don't need to be taking a picture of a sunset every 10 seconds because you can admire it when you're fully present and store it in your memories. Another thing you can do is simply work on our purpose. I'll get into that later. Part two, kill screen time. Let me guess, your screen time is probably around four or five hours, maybe six, seven, or eight. Most of that's gonna be TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. 
maybe even a little bit of YouTube and Netflix spread out here and there. You might even have some hours on messages in the phone app if you're texting somebody and calling. Your screen time is deadly high. Spending four to eight hours a day on a little rectangle that gives you no purpose beyond communication and easy dopamine, that's bad. That's really bad for you. And we need to stop doing that. So the first thing you should do to actually start lowering your screen time after breaking apart is to set a goal. Imagine if two people wanted to start the same business. One of them saw the result. Maybe they could have a Lamborghini. Maybe they could have this or that. And that just motivates them infinitely more versus the other guy who had no goal and just said, you know what? I'm just going to do it because uh, why not? Because I just want to make money. He doesn't have a, a finite goal he wants to reach. Obviously, the other guy with the goal is going to make infinitely more progress because he's motivated. He knows what has to be done to get the thing. So let's be realistic. You, you've probably seen the videos where people get like 30 minutes screen time per day. Yeah, some people do that. However, like any other person in this day and age, you probably need some form of screen time because you need to call, text, check emails, do basic stuff. Who do you accept psychopaths will have screen times that low? Of course, it can benefit them more than you. But right now, what you should be probably aiming at is around two hours to two and a half hours of screen time. This is the average amount I've found in order to keep in touch with others while shoving off all of the bad dopamine. Most of the time I spend on my phone during those two and a half hours is for messaging my family, friends, etc., calling, notion, notes, and school. So that should probably be your goal. Two and a half hours, two hours. If your goal is lower than that, we can keep pushing it down. You should make sure you challenge yourself every single day to make sure you reach that goal. I remember one time I just was done with my screen time. I did not want to have anything more than four hours. So I wouldn't pick up my phone at anything. I cleared out everything and made sure that I could only use my phone for the certain things I would needed it for. I'll teach you how to do this right now. Second up is analysis. Right now I have about an hour and a half on it. I have half an hour on Snapchat, 15 minutes on Google Classroom, about 11 minutes on YouTube because I had to use it for class, nine minutes on messages, seven minutes on photos, five minutes on camera. But what you're gonna do is analyze. Go throughout every single day. Like there's like little like buttons you can use to check like all of like the, the days right here. You can just click on it to go back and forth between the days. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna check every single day which apps took the most time out of your day. And it's probably gonna be the same apps every single day. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all of that. You already know the basics. It's probably gonna be those apps that are gonna take away the most time away. Another thing I need you to see is the pickup count. You can see the amount of pickups per day you've had. I've had 33 pickups, which actually does not seem accurate. No, today I've had 78 pickups. Most of it was for photos and for Spotify, because I listen to music in the car. Check out how many times you use pickups. Usually if you get like over 100 in a day, that's not good. You wanna have less than that. Usually that also means that you're reliant on notifications. Every 10 seconds you're getting spammed by so many notifications, like an avalanche of notifications coming in every single second. I have friends where they'll just open up their phone and they scroll and scroll and scroll for like 10 minutes looking at all of their notifications and I'm like, dude, why do you still have them on? So one of the ways you can combat this is to simply just turn off the notifications. I know, but turning off notifications is actually so hard because every 10 seconds you need to be checking like, oh, what's going on with my phone? What's going on with my friends? It's gonna be a struggle, but if you can manage to turn off notifications and keep them off, your world will be infinitely better. Another recommendation I have is to start wearing a watch. That way you're not relying on the time up here. You're not having to check and pick up your phone every 10 seconds to check out the time. Usually when I check out the time, there's a notification. Obviously I'm gonna to wanna to click on it. And then from there, I'm gonna to want to start scrolling and start checking out this and that and this and that. And it just leads to into a, like a downward spiral. Part 2.5, kill reliance. So by killing reliance, I mean that we need to kill off the part of us that makes us like attached to the phone. That makes us like rely on it for every single basic necessity. And this is probably gonna be the hardest part of all of this. Because a phone is a basic human tool at this point, because we obviously we use it to communicate and for work. You wanna be able to use it enough for it to be useful, for it to be a tool and an aid but not enough to keep you overstimulated. So let's reflect real quick. Why do you use your phone? For what purpose do you have this little pocket rectangle and keep it around on you all day? Most people are just gonna say communication. 
but in reality they mean they just like it because it has TikTok and funny images and boobs. That's basically it. Also, if the real purpose is for communication and for keeping up with friends, why do you have Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube, all of these apps that don't provide that purpose? Honestly, all I really have for communication is messages, calls, and Snapchat. Beyond that, I have no other socials. I don't need those socials because I've detached from them. Secondly, what if you're doing with your time? If you're busy with other things, then you wouldn't have a screen time to worry about, right? If you were busy working on yourself, going to the gym, eating better, reading, meditating, being outside, being with your family, and working on your business, obviously, you're not going to have that high of screen time. Yet, most people do. So now, in turn, this is a problem with your purpose and your habits instead of a problem with your screen time and stimulation. Part three, form purpose. So if you've ever gone on a hike with your friends, you know the feeling where you're just like, you're, it's so serene and you're filled with euphoria of being with your friends and going up this mountain, being surrounded with your nature. Time passes fast as fuck and you forget about everything and you're having true fun with your friends. This is serotonin in your system. This is true like fulfillment and purpose. You don't need reliance on your phone. Find the people who can provide you the most value and serotonin. Find the things that give you that serotonin and that purpose. Whether that be hiking, being outside, a business, making money, drawing, journaling, writing a book. It can be anything that gives you true purpose and fulfillment. Something that takes away the time from TikTok and just doing like, uh, random stuff and convert that time into your purpose and your passion. But like killing reliance, this is pretty hard. When you find something that replaces that screen time, like a business or career, etc., you begin to slough off that reliance on your phone. I've been able to throw off that reliance on my phone. Now I like to use it for content creation, for editing and growing my YouTube. Instead of spending hours just scrolling on TikTok, my screen time on most days is 2 hours and 30 minutes. Some days it can be more if I'm working on videos and recording and doing things that I need to do. On other days, it could be like no more than 30 minutes. I don't have that goblin feeling of like when you just like turn off your phone after scrolling for hours. I don't have that feeling anymore. And it's awesome. My brain isn't turned to mush from all of these sources of stimulation. I can go outside right now and just sit down on a rock and think about having the urge to pull out my phone and start watching YouTube or something. In this day and age, it's a superhuman ability to have that. And I'm really grateful I was able to discover that. And I really hope you discover that too. I hope you can save yourself from overstimulation from your phone and to find the true purpose of being present in the moment. Thank you. That was it. Comment, like, subscribe, uh, do all that. Um, algorithm boost. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you.